Hi, I'm Larry Bellotta, and this is the sad story of Wayne and Jane, a real married couple that I helped years ago. Both of them were born into Chaos Kid homes, and both of their brains were programmed by Chaos Kid parents. Chaos Kids are children born to parents who never dealt with their own childhood chaos. These parents end up pouring that chaos into the brains of their own children, and that chaos takes them over when they marry as adults. It's often called the midlife crisis. In this video, I'll illustrate what a midlife crisis looks like from the inside. It's important that you understand how wildly erratic emotions of a midlife crisis are created. Very few people understand where emotions begin. Well, this is Wayne. Outside, you see his body, and inside, you see the man within. And even though he's a chaos kid, he still would like to be a good person if he had a choice. But the problem is that events come into his life without any meaning. Events cannot mean anything until they reach a little organ inside Wayne's brain called the amygdala, represented by this keyhole symbol with the question, what does this mean? The amygdala is constantly searching for meaning to every event. Now, that wouldn't be bad, except Wayne's little voice inside his head is here. It's this condemning little voice that urges Wayne to do things he really doesn't want to do, things that Wayne is sorry for later. The worse the childhood, that is, the more abuse, abandonment, or neglect, the stronger the voice is. Wayne had a strong one. That little voice inside Wayne's head grabs a memory from his past and connects that old memory to a current event. The little voice inside his head tells Wayne's amygdala that the event means something bad. When that happens, the amygdala shuts down Wayne's brain so he doesn't know what's happening to him. Wayne's little negative voice produces then a movie playing on his ITV, his imagination television. Now, once that little voice plays this bad movie in Wayne's imagination TV, an amazing thing happens. Wayne's 10 million nerve nervous system is suddenly convinced that this bad movie playing on the ITV is real. When Wayne's nervous system is convinced the bad movie is real, it produces Wayne's feelings. So it looks like this. The bad meaning leads to a bad movie. The bad movie leads to bad feelings. Wayne's bad feelings lead to a bad belief, and his bad belief leads to Wayne having a bad attitude. Now, naturally, with a bad attitude, Wayne's behavior is destructive towards Jane. And there goes their intimacy. Even his face is affected with a mean or sarcastic look. That's why Wayne's bad attitude creates his weird, unexplainable actions that frustrate and confuse Jane. His behaviors can take many forms, but regardless of what form they take, the behavior is always bad. It separates them. Try having a happy marriage under those circumstances. What's the result of all this? Well, let's see how Wayne and Jane really couldn't survive the intimate relationship we call marriage. I'll show you the rest of the story, and you can follow along. Let's watch it happen step by step. An event enters Wayne. His little voice inside his head grabs it and tells Wayne's amygdala that it's a bad event. Wayne's amygdala then shuts down Wayne's brain so he can't think straight. Next, the little voice inside Wayne's head puts a bad movie into his imagination TV. His nervous system is convinced it's real and produces a bad feeling. Wayne believes his feeling is true. His attitude goes sour, which creates a bad action towards Jane. That action comes over to Jane as an event without meaning. But Jane's little voice inside her head grabs it. That voice tells her amygdala that this means something bad. That little voice puts a bad movie in her imagination television, and her nervous system then is convinced it's real. She believes her feelings are true, which creates Jane's bad attitude, which leads to her bad action, which reaches out to Wayne, and round and round it goes. It wouldn't be all that bad if it didn't happen every week. The question is, how can Wayne and Jane ever be happy if there are two little negative voices inside their two heads that never leave them alone? Well, they really can't. But let's imagine that Wayne decided the meaning of events instead of the little voice inside his head. What if Wayne was free to make every event mean something good? And what if Wayne created on his own ITV a movie about a good meaning he decided about Jane's behavior? 
and then Wayne's nervous system would do what it always does and be convinced that Wayne's ITV movie is real. That would create good feelings for Wayne. So Wayne would believe his good feelings are true. His belief, then, would create a good attitude, and his good attitude would create Wayne's good behavior. What would Jane do? What would anyone do when another person treats them good? They would return the good they receive. Understand how to do this and live the life of a happy person no matter what the circumstances. That's how I live. That's how the students of my Environment Changer course live. And it's easy to do when you finally eliminate that little voice inside your head. You'll first need to change your inner environment, but then everything changes outside, including the people in your life. So, what's happening to the people who fall into the midlife crisis? It is that little voice inside their head, which is the manager of all the pain from their childhood. And when that voice gets strong, it takes all that pain from childhood and blames it on the person closest to them, the one they marry.